I'm Dr. Ross Apasha with the Pasha Snoring and Sinus Center, and today we're going to talk about olfactory training or smell training. Olfactory training is excellent for people who have problems with their sense of smell or their sense of taste. And this has become a very big, big issue, especially since COVID has hit. So if you cannot smell at all, which is called anosmia, or if you have your change in your sense of smell, which is called paraosmia, or perhaps you have a decrease in your smell, which is called hyposmia, olfactory training may be great for you. What's nice about olfactory training, it's actually 30% effective, which is really good specifically since there's no side effects for at least trying olfactory training or these different types of techniques. It's actually very simple. What we're doing is retraining the brain. Oftentimes when you lose your sense of smell and as it recovers, those nerve fibers don't exactly go to the same spot they did before. So you may have a change or a decreased perception of smell. For instance, you may smell something or even taste something that is something very common like chocolate or even smell a rose, but it may smell much different like burnt rubber or a bitter taste. The first thing we need to do is establish our kit. How we like to do it is that we have four, maybe five different vials, and these are, you can purchase anywhere. We got ours online. And what you do is you obtain these different types of extracts, which represents different types of scents and, and aromas. I would pick scents that you are familiar with. The classic scents are rose, clove, lemon, and eucalyptus. I like adding coffee because that's something that a lot of people are, are very familiar with. But either way, you know, you may not recognize eucalyptus, so you can switch this around to something else that is more familiar to you. These things, again, are available online. Sometimes you can get them at your at various stores. The next thing I like to do is put the label, the different scents, underneath the vial cap. And the reason I want to do this is in the beginning, when you start training and, 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 and learning the different scents, you can go ahead and look and see what it is. But eventually I want you to be able to identify the sense of smell without looking at the, the label. So it's a, it's a little neat trick to just put the label underneath the cap. So once you've labeled everything, the next thing you do is just take the extract and then apply it right into the vial. You just need a couple of drops and then you can um, store this for later because you can be using this for quite a long time. But once you've completed the kit, what I want you to do is every morning and every afternoon, so two times a day, when you wake up perhaps, I want you to get your kit out, go ahead and unscrew the cap, and simply take a whiff for about 20 seconds. If you want to, if you can't smell anything, go ahead and take a look at the label so you can recognize the scent and start making those connections. Or perhaps you have your sense, a sense of smell is, is diminished. You can look. If you just want to see if you can identify, you can keep the cap down, but just taking a whiff and trying to make those connections and reestablishing those neurons and those nerves so that your brain can start recognizing these different scents once again. So here we have, we have lemon. I'm going to sit there and, and just sniff it, put it up against your nose until you recognize it, and then put the cap back on, take a little bit of a break, pick up another container, wait a few minutes until you get rid of that, that first odor, and go ahead and repeat this through all your different scents. So 20 seconds each, about a minute or two as you break, and then once you're done, carry on through your day. When you come back that afternoon or that evening, perhaps before you go to bed or after dinner when you have some quiet time, go ahead and, and make yourself comfortable and repeat that process. What you're doing is you're re-establishing what is known to you, your sense of smells. What's nice about your sense of smells is those nerve fibers actually regenerate. The problem is they don't always regenerate in the right way and you can get some confusion. Olfactory training redirects your brain and reprograms it so that when you recognize a scent, when you smell it, you're constantly reminding yourself and reprogramming those connections. That's it, an easy quick trick in order to regain your sense of taste and smell. You're gonna be doing this for at least a couple of months, sometimes three or four months. Give it time, be patient. It's an easy, quick, low risk method without popping pills. I'm Dr. Raza Pasha. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you found this useful. If you want to learn more about olfactory training, you can go online to our website at Pasha MD or make an appointment at our clinic.
Thank you. Hello everyone, and thank you for watching our video. I hope you found it useful. If you liked it, please subscribe to our video channel. That way, every time we post a new video, you'll be informed. Also, if you're interested in our social media, we have a link in the bottom right-hand corner.